Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to download Minerstat OS and get it set up on your own mining rig. This is different than my previous video. My last video, I did like an overview on it. This time, I'm actually showing you guys how to download the actual mining operating system, putting it on a USB stick, or you can put it on an SSD or hard drive, whatever you prefer, and then actually putting it to your mining rig and actually having it boot so you can use it yourself. If you did see my previous video, I go over Minerstat OS and I just give a full overview of things. So if that intrigues you to kind of use Minerstat OS, but maybe you ran into some problems setting it up, this video will help clear some things up and get it so you can download it and run it yourself as well, depending on what graphics cards you have and such. But we'll be getting into that. So just follow along this tutorial and this will help you get set up on uh, Minerstat OS or MSOS in short. So what you want to do is come over to minerstat.com forward slash software forward slash mining dash OS. I'll post that link in the description so you can check it out. This will bring you to the Minerstat OS download page and allow you to download it. But before we do that, you want to go up to the right hand corner here and click dashboard. And this will bring you to, oops, didn't mean to put it in a window. This will bring you to your Minerstat page or for you, you might not have an account yet, so it'll be on like a login page. What you want to do is sign up for a Minerstat account, and this will allow you to have this dashboard. So yeah, all you do is click sign up and sign up like you normally would for like a normal website. It'll just go through your steps on like your username, email, password, whatever the sort. But once you're done signing up, you're going to be brought to this dashboard here. And up top here is going to be your market. You can edit it in the top right hand corner here by edit market view. But that's like the least of our worries. So what you want to do is come over on the left hand side here. And it's going to have all these like columns of options. And you want to go under management and go to workers. And once you click on workers, you won't have a worker here. So all you do is click add new worker. Or once you do have the OS set up on a USB and you have the mining rig running uh, minor stat OS, you can click discover new workers and it will auto, um, add it automatically. So if you choose to add it automatically, you won't have to go through this process. But all you do is click add new worker and then this will bring up a new window. And all you do is click on whichever like operating system I believe it is you're going to use or whichever graphics cards. So if your rigs AMD or NVIDIA, it will give you that option. Or uh, it'll give you an option for a minor stat OS. You just click the minor stat OS option. And then that will allow you to add a worker. And then it's going to bring you to this worker page here. And it might bring you to the config. Once you do have your new worker created, it might give you it once you are setting it up. But you'll have a download config.js. And this is going to be your configuration settings. So your miner can read to this dashboard here. Because it's going to have your account info on it, I believe. And then it um, once your miner is running, it brings all the info to the dashboard here. So you want to make sure you do download your config.js. So all you do is click on it here and it should download just like down, down here, the config.js. I'll just download it just to show you guys, because I'm just going to be showing you guys how to actually download this and get it running, but make sure you set up your worker before you actually go ahead and put the mining OS on just due to this config.js. I don't know if it is worker related. You might be able to download it beforehand. This is the only way I was able to find it or through the actual setup of your worker. So if you go here and then you click add new worker, it'll bring you through a series of steps and that will allow you to download your config.js because I believe it's linked to your actual like login of your account. So it's not to do with like your worker. It's a confusing back end of things. I don't want to get people confused or anything, but your best way is click add new worker, go through the steps that it comes up on screen. I would show you, but since I have one running, it doesn't allow me to set up another one without a paid account. So all you would do is click like AMD or NVIDIA, and then you're going to click with operating system and you want to click MSOS, which is the minor stat operating system. And then that's going to allow you to download the config and set up your worker name and things of the sort. So once you have your config.js downloaded and your worker set up, what you want to do is come over here and click download MSOS. And this is going to be, you want to click this little drop down here. And this is going to give you your option for whichever uh, graphics card you have, I believe. So this is GTX, RTX, P10X, LHR, RX 400, 500, the VII, Navi 5000. And then the other one's Vega RX 6000. So I believe you'd want this one up top. This is the one I went with the GTX RTX, because I believe this is AMD and NVIDIA cards. So just in case you get different cards or you, if you have a mixed rig or anything of the sort, 
I just go along with this top one here and I, all you do is click torrent or direct. I just click direct download and this will start downloading it automatically here. And then if you're not signed up, it'll probably say click uh, sign up to get ready or continue to dashboard and that's where you sign up. So all I do is let it download down here. I have it downloaded already, so I'm just going to stop it and I'm going to show you guys what to do next. So then we can go ahead and get this running for you guys. All right, I just had to re-download it there. I thought I had it downloaded, but I didn't. So once you have it downloaded, it'll be in a zip ar archive file just like this. And you will just leave it like this. I thought there was just an image file in there. So you'll be taking this zip archive or archive file, sorry, and putting it to your USB or hard drive or SSD so you can boot it. So you'll need a software for that. You can either use Rufus, so you can come over to Rufus here and you can create a bootable drive. But another one that I have here, I have it downloaded already, is this one here. It's this Etcher one here. I'll just Google it quickly and then that way I have the website for you guys. But yeah, so right here, Belina Etcher, or you can just call it Etcher. And this is a pretty simple, straightforward one. Rufus is an easy, simple, straightforward one as well. But it just takes a little more. You gotta know, like, which um, hard drive format yours is needed to boot, like GPD, MPD, things like that. So where Etcher comes in and just does it for you, I just found that Etcher kind of takes that out. You just select your image, select your drive, and flash. And it's really that easy. So all you do is download whichever one you prefer. And then I'm going to use Etcher, like I said. So all you would do is load up Etcher here. I already have it downloaded and installed and such. So you click flash from a file. And this is going to open up your downloads here. So you go to downloads or wherever you downloaded the MSOS. And you just double click on the archive. And then you select your target. So what will be here, most likely it might be under hidden for you, is your USB drive. So you click on your USB drive, whichever like company made it, and uh, whatever size it is, it will say like Kingston USB, like 16 gigabyte or whatever, because the recommended size for this, at least from what I've read, is four to eight gigabytes or higher for USB, hard drive, anything. So all you do is click whichever one that you are selecting to move this image file to, to boot from your uh, mining rig. So in most cases, it will be the USB or the hard drive or whatever that you are setting up. And all you do is click select on that. And then all you do is click flash. I just don't have the USB with me right now. So like I said, all you do is select the hard drive or USB. And then all you do is click flash. And you sit back and just let it flash. And as you see here, it turns into the image file here. So once you have the image file in, you selected your target. So the USB or the hard drive, whatever. And then you click flash and then you'll be good to go. You sit back and let it finish. And it will tell you once it is finished. It will just go through this process screen of like, like uh, extracting, mounting, whatever. So you sit back and once it pops up saying it is finished and complete, just close out of the program and remove the USB stick and you should be good to go. Just one last thing. Once you do have the USB stick plugged in, I will just find mine here just so that way I can show you guys this next step. So once you do have it mounted, you will have a USB drive like this. It might open up a few other windows saying it can't open because of partition or something. Just close all those out until you get your actual USB window here. And as you see, there's the config file. So that config.js that you did download from earlier, so right here for mine, you just want to click and left click and hold it and drag it over to the USB and drop it in. And then replace the current config. It'll pop up with the window. And then you click replace. And then that will place the config.js. So that way it'll be your information. So once you boot up your rig, it will boot to your information and be available on your dashboard and things like that. So now you should be good to go. Just safely remove it and then plug it into the USB port of your miner and then boot it up and it should read from there if you have your USB set as the actual like uh, readable device on your computer or mining motherboard or whatever you have set up. But I'll be showing you guys that. So just safely remove it and bring it over to your mining rig and then we'll go from there. All right, everyone. So once you have your USB done up here, so I'm using a USB, like I said, you can use SSD or hard drive. You just want to go to your motherboard and find the USB port. So in my case, it's right back here. And I'll just go on this bottom one. And you just put it right in. If you're using, obviously, the uh, hard drive or SSD, you just hook it up with your cables or whatever. Do your normal thing. I always just, since I'm using a mining motherboard and everything, I don't have an actual hard drive hooked up. So just make sure you just have the mining OS hooked up. So if you have multiple hard drives or anything for any reason, my recommendation is if you're not too like tech savvy in the BIOS, 
just go ahead and remove all the drives except for the actual mining operating system drive. And in my case, it's a USB. So once that's plugged in, we'll just get this booted up here. Don't know if it's powered on. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just gonna turn those off. So as we see, we boot up here and it's gonna boot up into the USB automatically because that's the only drive. And as you see here, it's gonna have your options. And if it doesn't automatically choose for you, just click enter on Ubuntu there. And then once you are up and running here, just make sure you have your ethernet and everything of the sort set up. It just might take a minute to read if you're using USB or depending on your drive speed or anything of the sort. I believe I'm just using a USB 2.0 into the 2.0 ports. So it's not the fastest reading thing. But as we see here, it's logging into the minor stat Ubuntu here. Gives me the date and everything. And then now we just wait. Now, at least we know that it is reading and things seem to be well. And as we see here, down here, configuring network, updating connection, updating the system, all up to date. It just reads to make sure you didn't add any new GPUs or anything of the sort. So let's try to get this focused. There we go. Now you just wait for that to boot up. It could be, like I said, it could take a little bit just depending on your mining system specs and things. Mine's just a simple, I believe it's just a dual core, dual thread, old, older mining motherboard, but hey, I will take it as a gift for Christmas. But as you see here, it's just a bunch of validating, reading over everything. And then it's just gonna, if it is your first time running, it might overclock your cards. It automatically does that. You can go in and change the settings on your actual minor stat OS dashboard if you don't want the overclock. But once it's all red and up to date and everything is good to go, we should just be up and running right here anytime. Yeah, there's the cards kicking in. So it's detecting the cards. Just trying to focus, there we go. So it might just sit on that blank screen for a minute or two, just depending, like I said, on your specs. Then once it'll boot up and it's gonna read through all of your cards and everything like that. And then it's just gonna overclock your cards if you do have the capability to. It's just gonna read through so you can double check and make sure that it is reading both your cards, my two 1063 gigabytes. And then all this is just gonna boot up and it's just gonna confirm it's running. You know once it's running, once you get like your command prompt here, so just like that, you see your two green, so that means they're reading and they're up and running. And then you have here where you can check your miner and everything. But once this is booted up and you have it running and you know there's no errors or anything, you just come back over to here. And then I might jump back on my screen recording. But you just click your dashboard and your rig should show up here. So as you see, one, one different coin, one active worker. So you click workers. And then as you see, it's green now, which indicates it's online. Click worker 001 or whatever you did name it. And as you see here, we have it mining and it is running. So as we see, it's all good. It's reading your power, wattage, all your percentage of the cards and everything. And all you want to do is if you want to overclock or underclock, you just go to the clock tune right down here, right by your graphics cards. So these will light up sometimes depending on the algorithm. Uh, it'll allow you to go in or even on the pool and change the settings. But if you just want to override that, you just go here on the clock tune. And depending how many cards you have, so I have two. So each one's going to indicate how it has like 85, 85. Each card is set to 85 watt power limit. The other ones I skip, 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 skip. I just skip all that because I don't really do much underclocking or overclocking. But once you figure out which like settings you want, you click apply. You don't have to click apply with three start. You can if you want, but you can click apply and it will take effect. And then you can set auto fans or static fans. I personally like static fans. I keep mine at 70% speed. But yeah, that's pretty much all to it here. I'll just give it another reload. So as you see, it's up and running. It's reading my cards properly. And depending on the algorithm, like I said, these will be lit up and allow you to actually go in and edit things. But yeah, overall, it's a pretty nice dashboard. I find, like, if you check my overview, it goes more into, like, the overlook of everything, how easy it is for everything to use. But yeah, if you put your worker config in there, like the config.js, you transfer it to USB and made the USB properly, and it booted up fine, just like in the video here, then you should be good to go. And it should be reading all of your GPUs, it should show your temperatures, it should show your power, and all that kind of stuff. So for now, I just wanted to show you guys that 
like how to get this set up and how to get it running for yourself in case you came across my video and you just didn't know how to do it yourself or it was your first time using an OS. So hopefully this gave you some insight into it. But before we just quickly go here, over on your command line here, so as you see, you can have the choice to view, so you can type in like minor here. So as you see, and you click enter, and then that will bring uh, up the mining screen, whichever miner you have set, because you edit everything from the worker dashboard here. So all you do, if you follow my uh, overview video, the last one I uploaded, you will see, you go to worker config, and this is where all your miner and pool information will be, and then your, um, where is the address editor on the left hand side here, is going to be where all your wallet and pool addresses are. So it's fairly well organized, and once you get the hang of it, it's not hard at all. Between this video and my overview video, hopefully you get the hang of things, and hopefully you're able to use Minerstat OS. Like I said, there's a lot of different, a lot of different operating systems out there, like Hive OS, Nice Hash OS. But I came across this one, and I really haven't before. So I was like, oh, I might as well check it out, and then just make a video for you guys. And then my overview got lots of like positive feedback, so I figured why not just do a follow-up tutorial to show you guys how to actually go about setting this up. But that's pretty well all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy this video and this tutorial did help you, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It lets me know you guys are enjoying this type of content and it's giving you a helping hand. But I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto, signing out.